I feel like I'm always saying this, but we've again traveled to a place in New Hampshire that has the most breathtaking views. When you drive up here through what they call the notch, you start getting really excited because you know that there is adventure waiting for you ahead. So we came to Gorham where you can connect with snowmobile and ATV trails from right outside your door, which is what we'll be doing later today. Gorham has that feeling of being removed from city life while also having access to everyday amenities and attractions. We're then hitting up a great lunch spot on Main Street, which serves some very unusual menu items and fat biking through some of the Great Glen trails. And nestled right at the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road is the Glen House, where we'll be ending the day and spending the night. But we have a full day ahead, so let's go get caffeinated. Here is your latte awesome. and here's your coffee. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. We are we're actually in your, your like home base of Berlin City Auto Group. Yeah, we are. We're in Gorham, New Hampshire at uh, White Mountain Cafe. And that's where you were born. Well, Same. the company was born. Right. Yeah, it's 40 years, going on 41 years this year. That's amazing. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's really neat, so. So I haven't actually spent a lot of time in Gorham, but we're gonna actually go snowmobiling after this. But, you know, what is it about this area that you guys love so much? Yeah, so you hit the nail right on the head. You know, yeah. snowmobiling, skiing, four-wheeling, side-by-side. Everywhere. Nordic skiing, um, lots of great restaurants, cafes. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things to do up here, so. Yeah, and then I think that you guys have a lot of people who work there that are locals. Yes, 85 to 90 percent of the employees we have, 167, are all wow. all native to the area. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's it's great. That's it's great. really nice. I have, every time I, I go up there, everybody's so nice, and I just have a really nice experience. Yeah. And I always come here to White Mountain Cafe because it's a it's a bookstore, it's a shop. Mm -hmm. They it's got great a co coffee. Great coffee. And they have sandwiches, gluten-free items, dairy-free items. How often are you here a week? Uh, probably <laughs> five times a week. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. our employees as well, too. We try to support all the local restaurants. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to explore up here. I love being surrounded by the mountains. Yeah. I can't wait to go snowmobiling. You do know it's 25 below out, right? <laughs> it's 25 yeah. below. Yeah, that's 25, 25 below. Yeah. We're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm right excited. Right down the road to let's Mom's Jericho. Yeah, let's go to Mom's and do it. Welcome to Mom's, Mom's Jericho. Uh, this is a motorsports dealership, so we do everything from snowmobiles, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, four-wheelers, you can get some cool gear here. We got a bunch of uh, cool brands, Honda and uh, Polaris is one of our number one brands that we do sell here. So you can literally unload your stuff and then go to Jericho State Park, which is roughly 7,000 acres. And we have our own property behind the dealership. So you basically you have like 8,000 acres to go have fun on. So today we will actually be on some rentals and really you could just kind of experience when you come here, the rental process. And then when we go up, just show you a little bit of the property and some of the trail system. And actually we, on our property, there's a mountain, we call it Mount Forest. You can get up to the top and you overlook Berlin. It's really a, a beautiful view. And today's a great day to do it. It's super clear, a uh, little bit chilly, but it's all right. We, we'll put the layers on. So, uh, you know, we'll head out and we'll show you the, the rental process. So much fun! My name is Bobby Roderick, and I am a groomer operator for the White Mountain Ridge Runner Snowmobile Club. We operate and groom 127 miles of trails in the area, and namely the trail that we're going to ride today up on top of Mount Forest with the most incredible view you'll ever see and witness is where we're headed. So we're very proud of what we do. Our trails are magnificent, and we should enjoy the time on the ride. In the state of New Hampshire, there are 7,000 miles of groomed trails for snowmobile riders. We feel, and we're pretty proud to say, the best is just north of the White Mountains, starting in Jefferson, our friends down there, Gorham, Berlin, right on up north, uh, Groveton, Dummer, Milan, Errol, all these clubs are all out there giving people good rides. So they'll rent a machine and they'll fall in love with it and probably come to places like this and buy one. So it's part of our economy. It's our winter economy, so you can't, you can't ask for more. Here we go, coming downhill. Kate leading the way like a pro. Yes! I 
played 11 years in the NFL. Um, so with the New England Patriots, I won two Super Bowls. And when I retired, I actually reached out to Joel Wheeler. He, he owns Moms, it's a family owned business. So we decided to partner up and um, it's been great so far. We've, we've really um, learned a lot, expanded this area, buying the land, the property. So really just adding more value to this, this dealership in particular. So um, it's been awesome. Joel has been a great partner and um, you know the growth that he has, he has a background in finance. So he's really smart with numbers. Unlike the football player that I am, um, I wasn't really a math guy. So I'll, I'll leave it up to the math wizards. We made it to the top of Mount Forest. This is gorgeous. This is Berlin, New Hampshire. You know this place well, Chad. I sure do. This is uh, home of Berlin City. 40, Where it all started. Uh, going on our 41st year this year. So uh, all these fine houses <laughs> have all bought nice fine automobiles from Berlin City. So that's awesome. It's a great day. It's what, 20, 20 below? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's 20 Perfect below. Day. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad, bad no. at all. And Rob, you're not only good at football, but you're good at snowmobiling. Thanks well, good for thing getting for the me snowmobile. up here. The snowmobile's doing all the work. So I don't yeah. have to, it's not like I'm running or anything anymore. So <laughs> I just true. sit on it. I just sit down. It's okay. We we had a lot of fun coming up here. I highly recommend this activity, especially with moms. You guys were great. You set me up for success, but now I'm starving. So we're gonna head down to the butcher's daughter in town, but first we gotta get downtown. Let's go. All right, let's, let's do head it. down. We're gonna make very baked apples. So if you've been to your local orchard or maybe you've gotten apples in your CSA, you're gonna core them, peel the top off. Underneath them, a splash of apple juice. Mm. You can use any fruit you want, um, frozen blueberries, frozen raspberries would work. Okay. Place your apple back on top. Raisins, some cinnamon, mix it together. Get that fall flavor. Yeah. If you like apple pie spice, that will work yes, too. Yes, okay. Then what you're gonna do is actually stuff the apple core so with raisin. So what you'll do, once it's all stuffed, you're gonna microwave it for six to eight minutes, and every two minutes oh. just stop it and check. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you wanna make sure that the apple is soft, but that it doesn't actually end up exploding, which can happen. Oh, that is so easy. Yeah. I can't believe how easy yeah. that is. Hi, I'm Chris Masiello, and I'm CEO and President of Better Homes and Gardens, the Masiello Group. So we work with our clients at all different price points and all different housing needs. So whether it's the first time couple uh, or whether it's somebody that's looking to downsize from a larger house, uh, we work with you know, all different types of needs. And we understand what those needs are because as people are going through different stages in their lives, uh, their needs change. And you know, that's part of the, the focus we have on providing our agents with the tools and the resources so that they can spend more time with their clients and really kind of helping them, you know, really, really kind of unpack what their needs are. So we're here to help you with your housing needs. Please give us a call. We're here to service you and you can find us on our website. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome to The Butcher's Daughter. We are here at 152 Main Street in Gorham, New Hampshire. Uh, my name is Brian and this is my wife, Kim. We do uh, sandwiches, they're all a little unique. And we have butcher meats, fresh meats, seafoods, prepared foods, grab and go items. And we also have a unique country market with uh, local beer, wines. So we're hoping to keep continuing to find local products to add to the market and find the things that the, the consumers and the the locals are looking for as well as the people that visit in the summer. We have a lot of activity people that come in in the summertime. So um, I've been in the food service industry pretty much my entire life and after 35 years I lost my, my job in April of 2020. In the same two week time period I lost my father. Um, so I wasn't really certain where my future was going to go and the one thing I really knew I could do is make a good sandwich. 
So I, we talked about opening a food trailer, and I came up to work at the Gorham Farmers Market and the Lancaster Farmers Market, so pretty much where I got started with my food trailer. And the locals here were so wonderful. Everybody was offering me spots to park the food trailer, and then we had the opportunity to move indoors, and it just really kind of exploded from there. And so I was raised by a butcher, and when this all uh, happened, I ended up marrying a butcher as well. So everything kind of just fell in place like that. But, and my dad was an amazing butcher, very well known for what he did. This whole, our whole business here comes from, you know, family, you know. Um, so most of the names on, or all the names on, on the menu are named after um, family members or, or some friends. and and on items that they, you know, they may like or things that they, that they enjoy. So uh, Kim came up with all the names and the one that we're gonna show you today is the one that's most important to us. Um, and that's the Padre, which is named after her father, which is, um, which is on a brioche bun. It's mac and cheese, it's um, pot roast, roast and then uh, some blue cheese and fig onion jam. So it's everything that her dad would have loved and uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty special sandwich. Oh wow! This All is right. this is the sandwich. This is the padre. This is we the have padre. One on the gluten-free bun and the brioche bun. So this was named after your dad because these were his like favorite items. Well, <laughs> my dad loved food. Yeah, he watched, he watched Triple D and oh my gosh, loved food. Something he would have really loved. All right, I have to say, coming in after snowmobiling in negative temperatures, you guys, this is exactly the type of food that you want, and the trails are right off the road here, so this is like the perfect stop. Right, right down the sidewalk. Oh my God. And then, and then a salad, just in case you're feeling like you want to be healthy after, but I'm going in for this. I have to put my hair up for this. This is, this is like a sport, <laughs> trying to get into this. Oh my gosh. God. Oh, this is... This is a gluten-free bun, so they offer those options, which is really nice. Oh my gosh. Mm. Kim, this is fantastic. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love that. This is right on Main Street, right next to these amazing outdoor experiences. Like we just went snowmobiling and now we're heading over to fat biking. And then we get to come down here and have this experience and to have a sandwich like this that I honestly have never had anywhere. Gorham, New Hampshire, you guys. The butcher's daughter. I gotta keep eating this. It's fantastic. At Kenny Bunk Savings, commitment to our communities is at the heart of why we do what we do. Businesses, individuals, organizations, we all depend on each other. When we help our neighbors buy a home, open a business, or save for their some days, we're able to pledge 10% of our earnings to nonprofits who share our belief in supporting our communities. Because when our communities thrive, we all thrive, and that is our purpose. So how can we help you? Kenny Bunk Savings, purpose driven. Welcome to Mom's Jericho. My name is Junior, General Manager of Mom's Jericho. Here at Mom's, we basically tell everybody your adventure begins at Mom's. Uh, we're located right on the trail system at both locations. Uh, we do rent snowmobiles. We do also offer side-by-side -side rentals in the spring and summer seasons. Pretty much you name it, the power sports industry, Mom's carries it. So we've got a selection for just about anybody. So for all your power sports needs, come check us out at Mom's. We've got three locations here in New Hampshire, and the rest of us is spread out throughout New England. So come check us out. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive And I raise my hand to the sky What a feeling Time to feel it This is where it all begins This is where it all begins Hi guys, I am here to meet up with Ted from Berlin City Auto Group. He is one of the delivery drivers here. We're gonna deliver a Jeep Wagoneer 2022 to a very lucky customer, and I'm going along for the ride. Ted, it's great to drive along with you today. The Wagoneer is, is like 
a hot item these days. Yes. So yes. I'm excited about it. It must be like relaxing, kind of getting to drive around the state. Oh yes, and... yes. You know, I've seen so much of the co country that I never would see without this job. Bozeman, Montana is one of my. <gasps> Uh, yeah. I've uh, always wanted to go there. Oh, it's beautiful out there. Yeah. Wow. That is service. <laughs> that, yes. We've been doing this for 40 years. Yeah. I just enjoy this job so much. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Not everybody realizes that the people that are delivering the car are real people that have real stories. Right. And, um, and like you, really love what you do. Yes. Welcome to Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center. We are here at the base of beautiful Mount Washington and the Mount Washington Auto Road. We are a four season outdoor center, but here in the winter time, we offer all sorts of activities for you to really discover the joy of winter from kind of low skill activities like tubing, where you really don't need any skills at all. This is for all ages and all abilities. Um, to perhaps taking a ski lesson with our ski school um, and learning how to go out on the trails and slide on snow for cross-country skiing. We have snowshoeing on 45 kilometers of trails and of course a really famous Mount Washington snow coach which takes folks on a four-track passenger van up the Mount Washington auto road to 4,000 feet and it's right at the tree line so people get the experience of being up in the alpine zone on Mount Washington which is so well known for its extreme weather and amazing views. We have rentals for fat biking, for snowshoes, for skiing, um, of course we offer tubes for the tubing park. It's a traditional walk-up tubing hill so kind of in line with our human-powered activities. Parents love it because their kids get tired by the end of the day. Yes. Oh yeah, this is, this is fun. Oh, I like this. Yes. Of course, Mount Washington Auto Road has been in existence since 1861. Really long history here with Mount Washington Auto Road. And then with the Glen House, there's been five different iterations of the Glen House Hotel. And the most recent iterations, kind of in the 1960s, they started bringing people here um, throughout kind of the ski boom. There was just this movement of people coming up from Boston and skiing. So a long tradition of people skiing here. The trails weren't constructed here for cross-country skiing until 1996. And at that time, we did not have a Glen House Hotel. Um, so we created the activities to do before the hotel went into place. And then, of course, we just opened up the Glen House Hotel in 2018. Um, and it's a beautiful facility uh, right with trailside access. This is pretty awesome, right? Yes, I've never done this before. And I think the best part was that we literally came out the bottom of the lodge and the trails were right there. It's so much... Convenient. It's really convenient. It's really easy to access the trails here at Great Glen. And then this is the hotel that we're heading to later. Everything is like in this amazing little just tiny area and then this view. It's the perfect destination for all your winter activities. It is. That sounds like a tagline. <laughs> Yeah, people come from all over the place to visit Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center in the winter. Um, we have people locally from the Northeast, people from far away as Florida, kind of in the United States, and even folks from Japan and India have come and visited us here uh, for trail um, access, for ski school, rentals. It's really wonderful to welcome so many people here to this kind of beautiful corner of the world in Pinkham Notch. So if you're coming to visit Gorham, whether it's now in the winter time or the spring, summer, fall, come check us out. You can always give us a call, talk to our welcoming staff, and we'll be happy to help you with an itinerary that makes sense for your ability and your interest. We look forward to seeing you here.
Every morning when I walk up, it's generally early in the morning, I will just stop and I'll either take a picture or I'll take in the view. It's always changing, always gorgeous. It's something special that I never ever take for granted. My name is Catherine Aldrich Cote. I am the third generation owner of Polly's Pancake Parlor. And my name is Dennis Cote. I'm Kathy's husband and I'm also co-owner of Polly's Pancake Parlor. I would describe Polly's Pancake Parlor as a unique dining experience. The um, waiters and waitresses are making all their own pancakes so that there's a special attention given to your order. The pancakes are made from stone ground flour that we stone grind ourselves here. From those same grains, we are making all of the breads that we serve here, uh, our English muffins, pies, cakes. We make our soups from scratch and our quiche from scratch. The other thing is the heritage of the families that come and enjoy their special family time here. Well, I like your sweatshirt. We're serving grandchildren and great-grandchildren of some of the first customers I met when I first got here. Polly's is special because they always have you know, great service, you become friends with them. It's like going to eat at your grandma's. They really make you feel welcome. Well, it's good to see you. Miss you. <laughs> I think it's more than just a restaurant. It's an institution that generations have brought their families to. So I think it's important that it remain there for others to enjoy. Who knows what's gonna happen after us, but we're here to stay and the kids seem to be as invested as we were at the age they are now. In a hundred years, this might be the Bitcoin dollar store, who knows, but <laughs> right now it's Stan Polly's. Hi, welcome to the Glen House Hotel. I'm Graciela Page and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here at the Glen House Hotel. The Glen House Hotel is located in Gorham, New Hampshire and we are right at the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road and across the street from Great Glen Trails. We are actually the fifth iteration of the Glen House Hotel. The very first Glen House Hotel opened its doors in 1852 and we opened ours in 2018. The previous four generations were across the street where Great Glen Trails is currently located. And they decided that the fifth one and hopefully final will be in this location. So we want to offer our guests a uh, home away from home, you know, kind of like a mountain cabin type of feel without being a cabin. One of our biggest amenities this time of the year is the ability to cross-country ski from our doorstep. You can also snowshoe and just hike around the area. The bar is the jewel of our hotel. We, are actu we actually receive the most beautifully designed bar in New Hampshire titled by Architecture Digest shortly after we open our doors. As you can see, when you walk into the hotel, this is your wow moment. Hi, my name is Monica Corville. I'm the lead bartender at the Glen House, the Notch Grill. Um, I love where I work. I think we're very privileged to work here. This is my office. We have a great view. Uh, we get to work where people come for vacations. I believe that uh, life is about love and making memories with people. And this place has everything you need to make that possible. The view, the staff, uh, our cocktails, it's, New Hampshire is beautiful and I think it's a perfect place to, to be on this industry. So living here and being, being a small town, we try to partner with uh, local distilleries uh, and we use their spirits in our crafted cocktails. There is a lot of research and development that go behind them. When you get a drink on the table, it's been hours of us working on it. One of our team members is a master of combining flavors together, but it's not just about the flavor. We care about the execution of the cocktail. We care about the presentation. So every single one of our cocktails has been through a very long process before it gets there. Don't Shoot the Messenger is our spin-off of the Negroni. The Negroni is a bitter forward drink that has gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. So we substitute the gin for the Aquavit, which is a Scandinavian liqueur 
uh, in this case, Cathedral Ledge uses their vodka, which is organic. And then we finish it off with the Pampalamus liqueur, which is a high-end grapefruit liqueur that adds this little bit of sweetness citrus to the drink. And we stir that and serve it on the rocks with a slice of orange. So here we have oh God, it smells so uh, bad. pork schnitzel, uh, black and salmon yeah. with confit tomatoes and wilted kale. Oh. And this is a buffalo osabuco, uh, slow braised for three and a half hours mm. with onions, carrots, and uh, peppers. Thank you. You're welcome. All looks delicious. Good. Oh my gosh. Well, they definitely gave me some options, but I think I'm gonna start with the blackened salmon because salmon's one of my favorites. Um, but before I dive in, I just, I'm reflecting on the day that we had here in Gorham. We did so much and we met so many amazing people. Uh, and it's just, every time I come up and explore one of these towns, I'm just always so pleasantly surprised. So I encourage you to follow our itinerary, come up and explore for yourselves. Ah, oh, New Hampshire, I really, I just love it. And I love food, so I'm gonna dive in here and I will see you next week. Snowmobile, side-by-side, four-wheeler, dealership, one, motorsports one, dealership. One, there we go. <laughs> That's good. I didn't like that intro anyway, so we'll do it again. Oh, I liked it. All right, ready? So go to our website. You can reserve your snow coach trip. You can book your rentals. Um, that's not true. 